All right, all right, all right. Let's get down to business. Um, I'm going to jump into this really quick uh, because there's a lot to go over, and this is going to be probably the most revealing of any video I've put up so far. Um, mind you, everything that I'm about to show you was filmed yesterday, and uh, that would be yesterday, the 29th of December, 2015. So, first things first. This photo right here is a photo I took of the sky, our anomalous sky, our very odd sun. Um, I will be showing videos that um, throw in a question the uh, you know the standard view of the sun, um, and uh, I definitely will be showing a lot of videos that throw in a question the standard view of the sky and what is in the sky. Um, first, I want to just point out the anomaly seen here: the rainbow colors displayed in these misty clouds here. Um, these are the hazy clouds created by chem planes. Uh, again, those chem planes will be featured in many videos as well because the standard perception of those um, needs to be questioned. Um, yeah, very, very, very much so that needs to be thrown into question. This is what we would call a UFO. There's another one right here. I'm sorry, this was another picture. Um, there's another one right here. I was able to take some photos yesterday. Um, in each photo, you can see multiple of these UFOs. I'm gonna here so you can zoom in and see that this is not a raindrop. Um, raindrops, of course, uh, do not have structure and do not have a point of light. Where is he? There he is. See, you can see the point of light origin that it has. It almost creating a different color. Um, this is a um, an actual thing. This is not a raindrop. This is not a drop of snow. Even though there's snow on the ground, nothing was falling yesterday. Um, let's continue to go on. Look through these pictures. There's. Uh, see, do we see anyone in here? Not that one. There's one. There's two right there. I hope you're following my pointer. Um, there's a third one right there. Very small. But these things are being dumped out in the hundreds, if not thousands, from the sky. Um, now you might be asking, what are, how is everybody not aware of thousands of these UFOs being dropped in the sky? Well, it's because these UFOs are um, able to not only shapeshift, but manipulate both light and shadow. And they move so quick that they are almost invisible to the human eye. But camera can pick them up, especially if you know how to get them. Um, there's one right there, there's one right there. Now you might be saying, I don't know what those are. Those could be anything. They could be uh, something else other than a UFO, not necessarily. Well, let's first describe what these UFOs are. And it might be like hard to get your head around this. Wow, this one has a mini. See, that has a different light source. That's almost a beige or reddish light source coming off of that one. Um, and it has two points of light. And here's another one up here. There it is. All right, and look at that one. That one has a bluish, yellowish tint coming off of it. Let's be clear on what these UFOs are. Now, I'm gonna get a lot of flack from this, I already know, but this is the truth. These UFOs are interdimensional demonic creatures. And then you might be asking, first off, what do you mean a UFO is a ship or a structure? And if it's anything, it's coming from another planet. No, it's not. Um, our planet is actually in a war of good and evil. And from the evil side, there are such things called the Nephilim. And they are um, demonic beings, demonic creatures. And they present themselves as aliens. They present themselves as UFOs. And believe it or not, they present themselves as Kimplans and I will show those in depth. But for the purpose of this video, I just wanna show you the amount of these demonic creatures that are in the sky. So without further ado, 
I'm going to now um, play the time lapse one time through, okay? attention closely you would have saw so many of um, what appears just to our eyes as flashes almost like little uh, raindrops but let's take a look at it frame by frame you can see up here the frame um, number that we're on so follow me on this and uh, <clears throat> right off the bat we have one right here you can see it traveling here coming down here there's another one look at that see in the in a matter of three frames one. Oh, we have another one right here. And I will be uh, circling them and pointing them out for you. There's another one. I remember to take off as movable frames. And don't pay attention to this blue light. This blue light is a um, the sun's reaction to um, the lens of the camera. Another one right here, another one right here. We're up to five so much in um, eight frames so far. I know they come out. They're flashing all over the screen as we watch that time lapse. Oh, there's another one. There's another one right there. I want to see if I can get a really good one. Oh, look at that one by the sun. Let's see if we can zoom in on it. Wow. There's a light source, disc light light source with a, um, a circular structure. So there's a small one right there, small one right there. One, two, put a little dot next to them. There's a big one right there, big one right there. I may keep my dots here so we can just count them out. Um, let's see, one there, oh, that one right there. Ooh, big one right here. Big one right there, one right there, another big one right here. One right here, right here, right here. They are everywhere. I am serious when I'm talking about we are in the midst of an invasion or an infiltration by them of our reality. Now, earlier I mentioned that these are interdimensional beings. Well, put on your seatbelt because I'm going to reveal to you that dimension they come from. That's right. With the, the right techniques, we can actually look at the sky and see that most of the clouds and most of the things we see are bleeding through from that other dimension. Now, take a look at this. What we have here is a still that I took from that time lapse. So this is actually one of the UFOs from that time lapse. I took a still photograph from it, one of the frames, just a random one. Um, I wanted to make sure it did have this good view of the UFO. And what I did is with this background, the actual clouds, um, I manipulated that and edited it. And what you'll see is this. I'm just gonna slowly show you the transition into the world behind the world that we see. Is that not incredible or what? This is just by, you know, I'm taking obviously the same picture and I'm just running different filters and enhancing what's there. And what's there is this. There is a second reality that's here all around us that we need to be aware of so we can make the right decisions with our own lives. 
because our own lives are caught in this in this battle between good and evil and look at the evil side if this isn't jaw-droppingly scary I mean for instance look at you see right here this guy's face they're everywhere there's millions of them look down here I'm just gonna point out a couple here of these almost demonic creatures it's chaos behind there it's literally a realm of chaos of demons of everything unholy that literally sits behind our reality that's waiting for us it's bent on us being tricked by the deception it wants us to be deceived it wants us to not care about this it wants us to get into this reality so it can feed on us look at these things see that little guy right there and there's there's millions more and this is just the smallest sliver of the sky I mean, it, I, I hesitate to even think if I had a blown up image of the sky with the right amount of pixels that I could, you know, with definition. Look at this guy. Look at this. looks like some of the demons. This, he's got an eye right there. Mouth. This looks like some of the demons um, of old, of uh, a folklore. But no, this is reality. This is taken yesterday of the sky. You see all these guys here? I mean, eye, eye, mouth. I mean, I can just do this millions of times here. Um, there's one eye, there's his mouth right there coming open. And not to mention the physical manifestation of a creature from this dimension back here coming through into ours. And I know it's hard for everybody to grasp. It was hard for me to grasp. It was everything I didn't want to see. Um, it's hard for for us to grasp the idea and the notion that the sky and what is a pretty cloud or maybe even like, oh, that's just a, an odd cloud is really, it's really this doorway into this dimension. That that's really what's going on behind it. It's, it was really hard for me to grasp that this was the truth, but um, it is and um, if you, if you want something to prove that, even more so, look at this. This is something that I found out just uh, the other day. Nephology, the branch or a branch of meteorology dealing with clouds, right? Nephology, the branch of meteorology that studies clouds. Wonder why it would be called nephology? Because of the Nephilim. The Nephilim are the offspring of the sons of God and the daughters of men in Genesis 6-4, or giants who inhabit Canaan in Numbers 13-33. And what are the Nephilim? The Nephilim are demonic beings, people. The same demonic beings that shapeshift and have these big old heads and look like aliens because they are the mix between demons and humans, a new bloodline. What people don't know, though, is they're also here in the clouds. It mentions that in the Bible. And if you need more confirmation that what I'm saying is true, nephology. The definition of nephology, a branch of meteorology dealing with clouds. Case closed. Yeah, I know. Pretty... Insane. I get it. And like I said, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I have so much more footage, and now you can see what it looks like regularly. I have so much more footage and um, evidence of even more incredible, scary, and hopefully it has a purpose to it all, you know, and brings us, you know. And by us, I mean me and anybody who's watching this and anybody who you know, if you are watching this, it brings us closer to the truth. And that truth is that God, Yahweh, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, whatever you like to call him, is real. And we are in very tumultuous times and your soul is at stake. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be trapped into a reality with anything like this so 
with that i'm gonna say god bless please check out my other videos please stay tuned i um i i can't say enough how real this is and how much i'm not making this up i have nothing to gain there's a big old skeleton a nasty being right here with his eyes nose and mouth um take everything away so you see clearly um i have nothing to gain here except to spread the word of uh the truth and um uh, with that I uh, wish you guys all the best. God bless you. Um, Godspeed. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.